It is getting cold out, man. I'm telling you what. It is 30s this morning. It's that time of year. But to be quite honest with you guys, it's my favorite time of year. We got the platy sitting over here. We got your new truck sitting right here, by the way. Last four days to enter to win this truck. Yeah, check this thing out. I literally, I wake up and I just hit my remote start and I come out and this thing is already running and warmed up and ready to go. Trust me, you can't get enough of it. Lights on, camera propped up. Box number one, box number two, and bag of supplies. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. So, we are back here with the old 12 valve, the five speed, and we've got a video today that I think you guys are gonna like. I made a video and it went up a few days back, but I remember saying this. If we can do 1,200 likes on this video, I will put these wheels and tires on that truck with the stock suspension. As luck would have it, you guys did 2,000 likes on that video, if it focused, it didn't focus. But anyways, you guys got over 2,000, some almost 3,000 likes on that video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these wheels today and I'm gonna put them on this truck right here with the stock suspension. We're also gonna try to do a little bit of something with uh, the start of the interior on the truck. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get with the interior stuff today because that's not really like the main goal, but I am going to be, you know, taking off some part in the truck and trying to at least see what we're working with in terms of the vinyl and see how that all plays out. But let's get to jacking this truck up. We got some new tools and then uh, getting these wheels and tires swapped out. First thing we gotta do is get these wheel caps popped off, which is gonna be fun. This might work, but I don't know. We'll see. It worked good enough. Let's get the next three popped off. There, now we got some more tools ready to start getting this truck dealt with. Let's see how fast we can get this done. There it is, it's all done. I got the wheels and tires swapped over. Like I said, I told you guys I would do it if you guys got me to 1200 likes on that video and you guys like almost got it to 3000. So what should I do for this video to give you guys a little bit of a challenge to do something else to the truck that I'm not gonna do unless it happens. Leaving likes and leaving comments, that helps these videos rank higher so that more people can find our channel and know who we are. So that's kind of why I like doing that little stuff randomly because it really just helps the channel grow anyway. But then you guys get a little kick out of it because you guys get to see us do something that we wouldn't have otherwise done. I told my wife this morning, I said, hey Reagan, I said, I'm gonna be putting your wheels and tires on my truck. And she's like, why would you do that? I'm like, well, I kind of told them I'd do it if they got it to 1200 likes and they got it to almost 3000. So I gotta do it. So she's like, okay. But anyway, so that's the wheel and tire setup on the truck for now. I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay or not stay, but I do know I kinda like the look of it, to be honest with you, with the patina and the stance and the chrome. They need polished up real quick. I gotta wipe them all down to get the dust off them. But other than that, they look really good. Now, like I said, I told you guys I was gonna mess with something on the interior of the truck. Let's get the screwdriver out of here because I don't need that in there. But anyway, so let's get to starting with the, let's do the steering wheel first. And let's kind of see just what we can do with it. Now, there's a steering wheel cover on it right now that I need to get rid of. And then I need to try to find some kind of thread and needle so I can attempt to wrap the steering wheel. Now, I've never done one of these before, like ever. So I don't know 100% how it's gonna go. It should go fine. And I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do it. 
but let's get to finding the materials that we're gonna need and then let's get to cutting off a piece of leather to get started on that. So if you look here at this, it's actually coming off pretty easy. This cover, whoever did this, is definitely like a homemade leather wrap as it is too. And it's been on there for a long time, as you can see. It's just literally peeling right off. So I'm gonna get the rest of the wheel here yanked off and then I'm gonna get to laying out our vinyl and then seeing kinda like what we gotta do, what we gotta cut, how we gotta stitch it on, and hopefully we can go from there. Look how pretty that is. This is gonna look really, really good. I'm super stoked. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure the steering wheel in the truck. After I get the complete measurement around the steering wheel and roughly how wide my leather has to be, I'm gonna do that plus a little bit wider and then I'll show you what I got planned and then I'm gonna get to opening up my little granny boxes of sewing stuff that I got from my wife and then see if I can mess with something. So stay tuned, don't get on edge. I'll show you what I'm trying to do before you leave your comments down below. I got my length which is 48 inches and the steering wheel is four inches round and I'm probably gonna go about five. Before everybody comments down below like, oh dude, you need a straight edge, you need a bench and all this stuff. I know that this is just for the steering wheel temporarily. If I need to do another one, I can do another one. I've got more material than I even realized that I ordered. I'm just trying to show you guys an example of what the interior should look like with the black and the tan. Well, saddle brown is what they call it. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna get to measuring this, cutting it as best I can. Please don't be hateful down in the comments. I understand this is not a straight edge with a razor and all that stuff, and I understand I'm gonna do that. I gotta go pick that stuff up but let's just get to this part of the video and see what we can figure out. There's my piece. Might not be 100% perfectly straight, but what I'm gonna do is gonna kind of make up for anything that's uneven. So what I'm ending up doing is I need four inches to completely wrap around and touch each other on the steering wheel. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking a half inch of the extra on each side, and I'm gonna actually fold it in a half inch and just stitch that in, and then I'll show you the purpose of that when I'm done. Well, wow, that took a long, long time. I kind of figured it would. I just didn't realize how long a long time would be, but about an hour and a half long just to do the steering wheel on the truck. So let me show you the steering wheel. Now keep in mind, I've never, ever done any type of upholstery work ever. Like never have I ever, ever done it. So basically what you see is what you get. This is my attempt at it. Let me know what you guys think. Rated on a scale of one to 10, for the first time I've ever done this, what your thoughts are? Okay, here's the wrap steering wheel. Now, if you look real close, you can see I kind of went in like a uh, crisscross pattern to kind of make like X's all the way around. And it is tight, like it's not, like it doesn't move or twist around or anything. And I did get it as tight as I possibly could up around there, there's no weird gap there. It's real tight down here. I stitched it all the way around. It'll focus down there. Down there at the bottom, I stitched it all the way around the steering wheel. Turned out pretty good. You know what I mean? I mean, it didn't turn out bad at all. You can see how I had my pattern down there pretty good. And of course, like I said, in the middle here is where I had to end it. So I had to stitch it around and around and around. It actually did that, followed that stitching line all the way around to the back pain in the butt, but I did it and tied it off. And yeah, anyways, that's just a piece of it. So hopefully you guys can kind of get an idea of like the coloring that we're trying to go with for the entire cab and just really get a feel for like what we're trying to do here. Like I said, first time ever doing it. And the rest of it isn't so much stitching like this as it is like just form fitting and cutting stuff to fit 
certain panels and stuff like that. And Reagan told me that for the stitching edges of stuff, she said that she can do some of it with the sewing machine. Because for example, the reason you don't see any flat edges like this around that steering wheel is because I basically, I cut out my pieces, you know, I took it and then I folded in one inch on each side, just one inch lip like that. So that when I went to wrap it on the steering wheel, all you saw was a rounded edge there, not that. Because I felt like that would be a little bit cheap looking if you did it that way versus the way that I did it, even though of course it doesn't look professional, but it doesn't look bad for my first time ever doing something like that. Um, there's a couple little ripples in it, but for the most part, for never having done something like this before, I don't think I did a horrible job. Got the steering wheel done. So, anyways, guys, hopefully, you guys can cut me a little bit of slack down there on the, with the steering wheel thing. And hopefully, you guys like the new wheel and tire setup on the old 12 valve farm truck here, the Longhorn regular cab second gen that we're trying to do here. So, Anyways, this is a temporary setup, like I said, but when we do get our real setup for the truck, real, this is real, but I mean like our official setup, this truck's gonna be getting a massive suspension lift too. It's gonna be probably the biggest, the OBS was, I don't know, it won't be quite as tall as the OBS was on the 40s, but it'll be dang near close to that. I mean, it'll be real, real close. You guys are just gonna have to stay tuned and wait for that, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. What do you guys think the result's gonna be when this is all said and done? Thank you so much, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.